Well, as Premier Boxing Champions presents this next attraction in the ring, introducing our judges, Rudy Barragan, Alejandro Rochin, and Marcos Rosales. All right, fans, here we go. Six rounds of boxing, super bantamweights in the ring. Presenting first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim from Tijuana, Baja, California, Mexico. He weighed in at 123 pounds tonight in his 16th professional bout. Introducing Luis Javi Valdez. His opponent across the ring is fighting out of the blue corner in the sixth round attraction, wearing white trunks, pink trim, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Honolulu, Hawaii. He weighed in at 122 and one half pounds, undefeated in his young campaign in the ring with a record of four wins, no losses, three wins, coming by way of knockout, introducing the undefeated Chavez, the Beast Barrientes. Got a referee in charge now to give instructions, Sharon Sands. Okay, here's the belt line. Punches up. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Tocas. Let's go to the tail of the yes. tape. Chavez Barrientes, 4 and 0, oh, coming in. He's only 18 years old, full 5'11. That's very tall for 122 pounds. This uh, coming in uh, just basically under featherweight, junior featherweight. Luis Valdez, 21 years old, 7'7 seven, seven, and 1, the shorter man at 5'7. Oh. And we are ready to fight round number one, scheduled for six. Chavez Barrientes, a uh, twin brother with Angel Barrientes, who came in. Fellas, you'll recall, and uh, lost a professional fight, kind of shockingly, right there in front of you guys in Los Angeles to Trayvon Lawson. So even though you might be coming in as the A-side, Joe Goosen, you never know if the other guy is going to rise up and get you. You're right, and Lawson was a really good fighter. That was no, uh, that was no opponent, per se. He was a, a very strong fighter, and he took his time. He kept the pressure on, and eventually he stopped uh, Angel Barrientes. But, uh, you know, look, there's a lot to learn in this game, and they're only at the four... Uh, you know, fight Mark right now. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a learning experience every fight. They're so impressive, though, both Barrientes brothers. But you're right, Joe. I mean, 18 years old, it is, it's yeah. so young, and there is so much to learn when you're fighting grown men. Valdez is a young guy, too. He's 21. But uh, Lennox, you know, your uh, Olympic gold medalist, but turning pro, it, it is a different level when you come up and fight professionals. It is. It it's always is. And especially when you have your first couple fights, you don't want to. You don't want to come out a loser. You want to come out a winner. And uh, you know, it must have been disappointing for uh, one brother. Yeah, and, and Brian, if I might throw uh, throw this at you right now, you know, Valdez is, uh, he's, he's actually a, a very clever fighter. He's a, a guy that's not in here to lose. He looks like he's came, coming to win. Uh, he's got a good style. Now, he's never, he's only been stopped one time, and he's got seven losses, but only been stopped once. So if uh, Barry Antis can take him out, you know, that's a big feather in his cap right now. See a nice sharp jab there by Chavez Barrientes. And yes, named after Julio Cesar Chavez. Nice combination there by Stop. Valdez trying to get Break. inside. Watch your head. You know, during the introductions, I was I was laughing too because here's Valdez coming in with a, a 500 record. But when they made the announcement, he he went at it with a flourish. You know, yeah, there's no crowd there, but right. but he's gonna play it up. I, I like the confidence. He might as well come in swaggering. Well, he's gonna replay that tape a few times at home. He'll have a crowd there. So. <laughs> Hey, Joe, you made TV, right? I mean, right. why not? <laughs> well, let's see the outcome. Final he minute may, now. He may not be so uh, anxious to show it. I mean, uh, maybe if he yeah. wins it, he will. Yeah, Barry Antes looks uh, better ah! from the outside. He, uh, you know, he should never let uh, uh, Valdez get that close to him without giving him some couple shots, at least with the right hand and the left hook. Chavez shows a very nice jab so far and able to control things from distance. Now landing Valdez, you see right there, punches landed 20 to 13 from CompuBox. Yes, Good tight hook as well. Guys, work but Valdez getting through round Let him go. number one. Let him go. Stop! Let him go. Come on. Count me down. Count me down. And that's ah. the first round back for the second in LA. Uh, we're back in Los Angeles and something has happened here with Luis Valdez right after the first round between rounds. 
So Sharon Sands speaking to him. Let's go to Heidi Andrel. Heidi, what's happening? You know, I was just told by the corner he was hit in the ear and he's not feeling right. Maybe the equilibrium. That's what I know now, Brian. All right, so sounds like a stoppage if he's going to mention that to his corner. Uh, this fight is over. Lennox, Joe, did you guys get a good look at well, when he went back to his corner? Well, here's the thing. He, he was getting hit with a, with a double hook, a body, and then a hook to the head. If you puncture that eardrum, your equilibrium is is, is off. You're off balance, and, and you can't really walk straight or think straight. And that is 18-year-old Chavez Barrientes, who has just earned a... Uh, a KO win, or at least a stoppage win, as Luis Valdez is unable to continue here for round number two. Lennox, I didn't get your take on it, too. Just quickly what you saw as far as Valdez going into his corner. Yeah, Valdez going into his corner, he was basically bleeding from the ear, and I think he was mentioning something to his corner and, and feeling that he wasn't able to continue, so they stopped the fight. Now it's over. Fighter can't continue. I believe we're going to go to the ring in just a moment, but that is 18-year-old Chavez Barrientes, now 5-0, and o, who looks sharp in that first round, but it looked like we were going to get a fight with Valdez. Well, Brian, I guess he got clipped, and yeah, go ahead, Joe. Brian, I was going to mention just at the end of the round, and I didn't have time to say it, uh, if you notice, Valdez started backing up after putting on pressure, and then it, it was a role reverse in the last you know minute of that round. I'm going, why is Valdez giving up so much ground right now when he was, you know, forcing the fight at the beginning so maybe that's why all right so we're going to go to the ring i was wondering how come i'm not going to jimmy lennon jr and then i saw jimmy lennon jr walk into the ring that's why now we're ready to go let's hear from jimmy lennon ladies and gentlemen at the end of round number one this bout has been stopped he is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated chavez the beast Barriente. We know some of you are just joining us here. Hey, Joe, tell us, what do you think of Chavez? I mean, an 18-year-old former national amateur champion. Well, what's the prospects for Chavez Barrientes? Well, look, he's kept his uh, record intact. He's 5-0 with four knockouts. Now, you can't get a better start than that. He's only 18 years old. He's 5'11", 122. It's a huge height and reach advantage he's got. He, of course, he's going to move up and wait, but he's got a lot on the ball right now. And time will tell, but right now, he's a hot prospect. Yeah, you look at him, Lennox, and you can tell that that is a kid with a, a solid amateur pedigree. Oh, absolutely. When you realize that he can throw a great jab and he keeps a, that jab popping, you know, you know that, you know, that's the beginning of a great uh, uh, career. Now, we're going to get to look back now at the first round, and we recognize that some of you are just joining us here to have a chance to see all of this if you're just on FS1. But here's the first round, which was some pretty good action. I don't know if that's a right hand first. That seemed to be grazing him. And there's the shot to the side of the head. Let's listen into the corner of Luis Valdez. Well, he, he got an elbow. Yeah. Is that the end? It's over? I guess that was it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's it's not the end. Is it over? If That's you, it. If you look back on that tape right there, he took two right hands. Valdez was holding his arm. Marion just threw two right hands, and then on the third one, he threw the right hand but came across with the elbow, which hit him right in the ear with that elbow. And believe me, that hurts. And I think that's what caused maybe the, uh, he may have had a, 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 a ruptured eardrum.